Today I am going to discuss fundamental theorem of linear programming which is the most important theorem of linear programming. The statement of theorem is as if the given linear programming problem has an optimal solution then at least one corner point of feasible reason is optimal provided feasible reason is bounded. The theorem states that if any linear programming problem has optimal solution then at least one of its corner point or we say one of its vertex or we say one of its extreme point of feasible reason is always optimal point provided condition is that feasible reason is to be bounded. Now let us consider that linear programming problem is of maximization problem. We can prove the result also for minimization case. But here we take that LPP is a maximization problem. Maximize it equal to C transpose X subject to the conditions AX less than equal to B along with non-negativity restriction where can X is n dimensional vector, C is n dimensional vector, B is m dimensional vector and A is coefficient matrix of order m cross n. Now we take case of maximization problem. We have to prove that at least one corner point of feasible reason of this LPP is optimal point. Let us consider X star B an optimal point of given linear programming problem. If X star is an extreme point then there is nothing to prove. Consider the case when X star is not an extreme point that is not an vertex. Since S is bounded feasible reason because it is bounded feasible reason, therefore it has finite many vertices. Let us consider that it has finite many vertices as x1, x2, so on up to xk. And we know that, that any point of feasible reason, if feasible reason is bounded, then any point of feasible reason s can be expressed as convex linear combination of vertices of s. Convex linear combination I have already discussed in my video of convex sets and properties that what is convex linear combination. Now we say that as feasible reason is bounded therefore any point of feasible reason can be written as convex linear combination of vertices of feasible reason. Thus, there exist scalars alpha 1, alpha 2, so on up to alpha k such that x star which we take note an extreme point can be written as CLC of these vertices. Therefore, x star can be written as alpha 1 x1 plus alpha 2 x2 plus so on alpha k x k where sum of scalars is 1 and all scalars are non-negative. Now, the closed form of this is summation where R varies from 1 to k, alpha R, x R and closed form of this is mission R varies from 1 to k, alpha R equal to 1, all alpha R greater than equal to 0 for every R. Now, as we have to prove that we take the case that x star is not an extreme point and we have to prove that at least one point of feasible reason of this LPP is also an optimal point. To prove this, let say XP is any vertex out of X1, X2, so on up to XK. Now we have to prove that XP is optimal point. To prove XP is optimal point, we prove that C star X, C transpose X star is equal to C transpose XP. To prove XP is optimal point, we have to prove C transpose X star is equal to C transpose XP because I have taken X star as optimal solution of this LP. If 
objective function value corresponding to x term and objective function value corresponding to xp is same then we say that uh, if then we say that if x star is not an extreme point then optimal value is also exist at at least at one extreme point to prove this we have to prove this to prove this if in mathematics we have to prove two real numbers a equal to b to prove this we use the concept that a is less than equal to p and a is greater than equal to p by combining both the results we say that a equal to b now basis on the basis of this concept we have to prove number 1 c transpose x star is less than equal to c transpose xp and number 2 c transpose x star is greater than equal to c transpose xp if we pre prove both the things then by both the things we say that c transpose x star is equal to c transpose xp as value of objective function corresponding to x star and corresponding to xp is same therefore we say that if x star is not an extreme point then value is also exist at some extreme point xp which is any uh, which is any vertex out of x1 x2 so on up to xk therefore our aim is to prove number 1 c transpose x star less than equal to c transpose xp number 2 c transpose x star greater than equal to c transpose xp now we prove for this therefore to prove this we consider c transpose x star now from equation number 1 we have the value of x star we put the value of x star here this becomes c transpose summation r is equal to 1 to k alpha x star open this summation the oh, after opening this summation we get c transpose alpha 1 x1 plus alpha 2 x2 plus so on alpha k x k say it is equation number 2 now let us assume that c transpose xp is maximum of c transpose x1 c transpose x2 and so on up to c transpose xk the as c transpose xp is maximum of this therefore c transpose xp is always greater than equal to all of these as c transpose xp is maximum of c transpose x1 c transpose x2 and so on c transpose xp xk therefore c transpose xp is always greater than equal to c transpose x1 c transpose xp always greater than equal c transpose x2 c transpose xp always greater c transpose xk therefore in combined form we say that c transpose xp is greater than equal to c transpose xk xr where r is varies from 1 to k say it is equation number 3 now come back to equation number 2 we have c transpose x star is equal to c transpose alpha 1 x1 plus alpha 2 x2 plus so on alpha k xk now as alpha 1 is scalar therefore we, we take alpha 1 outside this become alpha 1 c transpose x1 and also alpha 2 is scalar therefore we also take alpha 2 outside therefore this becomes plus alpha 2 c transpose x2 and so on alpha k c transpose xk now c transpose xp is greater than equal to c transpose xr for every r therefore c transpose x1 is less than equal to c transpose xp c transpose x2 is less than equal to c transpose xp c transpose xk is less than equal to c transpose xp using equation number 3 we get this equation now c transpose xp is here 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 we take c transpose xp commonly after taking it as common we get c transpose x star equal to c transpose xp alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus so on up to alpha k now look at equation number 1 sum of all scalars is 1 therefore here the sum of scalars are 1 therefore 
because this inequality sign is of less than equal form therefore c transpose x star is less than equal to c transpose xp equation number 4 we get our this aim our first aim is complete at this equation now we have to achieve second aim what is our second aim to get c transpose x star greater than or equal to c transpose x now we have considered that x star is optimal solution because x star is optimal solution recall the definition of optimal solution as our problem is of maximization and x star is optimal solution therefore objective function value corresponding to x star is always greater than equal to objective function value of every point of feasible reason therefore c transpose x star is greater than equal to c transpose x r for every r r varies from 1 to k as x1 x2 xk are vertices of feasible reason of this problem now we look at here the uh, we choose c transpose xp as maximum of c transpose x1 c transpose x2 c transpose xk therefore c value of c transpose xp is is same as the value of one of this c transpose x1 c transpose x2 c transpose xk therefore i write as c transpose xp is one of c transpose x1 c transpose x2 so on up to c transpose xk therefore this inequality also holds for c transpose xp therefore c transpose x star greater than or equal to c transpose xp now combine the equation 4 and 5 here we get c transpose x star less than or equal to c transpose xp here we get c transpose x star greater than or equal to c transpose xp our both aims are obtained now by combining 4 and 5 we get c transpose x star is equal to c transpose xp Therefore, now as we prove that C transpose X star is equal to C transpose X P. This is because we take the case that X star is not an extreme point. In this case, we prove that the value of objective function at X star and value of objective function at xp is both equal therefore if x star is not an extreme point then there exists an extreme point xp which is also optimal point hence at least one corner point is optimal now if you prove to if you want to prove this result for the case minimization problem then all proof remains same here one changes occur here that you have take minimum here instead of maximum as you have take minimum here then corresponding inequality change here and after reversing the inequalities you get the uh, you get the proof for the minimization case important remarks are Number one, as I earlier discussed that the proof for minimization case can be treated on parallel lines just by reversing the inequalities. The second remark is most important remark that this theorem does not rule out the possibility of having an optimal solution at a point which is not vertex. Consider this problem take LPP as maximize z is equal to x plus y subject to x plus y less than or equal to 1 x and y both are non-negative the feasible reason for this problem is this this is 0 0 point this is 1 0 this is 0 1 now take point 1 by 2 1 by 2 which is also point in the feasible reason here optimal solution exists the maximum value of function at this point is 1 
but this point is not vertex. Therefore, this theorem does not rule out the possibility of having an optimal solution at a point which is not vertex as optimal solution exists at this point, but this is not a vertex. It simply says that among all optimal solutions to a LPP, at least one of them is vertex. If we find the all the optimal solution of this LPP, then line segment joining 0, 1 and 1, 0 is the line of if we find all the optimal solutions of this LPP then line segment joining 0, 1 and 1, 0 gives all optimal solutions of this LPP. Now note that 0, 1 and 1, 0 also this is the vertex corresponding to which optimal solution of this LPP occurs. Therefore, it simply says that among all optimal solutions to a LPP, at least one of them is vertex. Friends, if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and press the uh, like button. Then also press uh, bell icon button to get notification of our new videos. Thank you friends.